morning guys after a quick bagel breakfast we made it to our first stop of the day we're gonna do the soul duck trail soul duck falls uh, see what it looks like we're pretty much gonna be exploring the west side of olympic park today um we're doing the soul duck part right now with the falls and then we're gonna hit up the uh Ho rainforest i think is what it's called and then we're gonna take a look at the beaches uh yesterday was really really cold um, when we were finishing up and the weather was kind of rougher it's clearer now it's definitely like a much better blue sky but uh, something tells me it's gonna get cloudy again if not then hopefully we'll be able to do what I wanted to do yesterday which is watch the sunset on the beach but let's see what this trail consists of it shouldn't be too long it should be relatively quick so the path itself seems to be pretty short only 0.8 miles and it's kind of the same concept as yesterday when we were walking through it it's all pretty uh, packed dirt Nothing too complicated, should be pretty quick overall. So we just made it to the falls themselves, uh, which are, they're pretty cool. Um, a little bit different than the falls we went yesterday to, which were Merrimere Falls. These are kind of a set of three of them. So there's three kind of separate ones that are separated by rocks, but they're right next to each other. They're pretty powerful. Uh, I would actually say that I prefer these falls wise over Merrimere Falls, but the hike to Merrimere Falls was nicer. So the area itself, kind of how the forest looked, there was also a lot less people at the Mary Mirror Falls versus here has been a lot a lot of significant difference of much more people but still looks very nice I really like the way the waterfall looks there's a lot of fallen trees fallen logs over near the falls which adds to like kind of the aesthetic aspect and then just the way that they're separated by making it three separate ones makes them look really really nice so after about a 20 minute stroll we made it back to the parking lot very nice trail very family friendly quite short 0.8 miles one way makes a 0.6 1.6 for a round trip what do you think you like it i like it it's full of people like comparing to the ones that we that, that we did first there is a huge amount of people there yeah from everywhere. But, it's but it's not cool. it wasn't too bad it was pretty nice we saw a pretty cool squirrel big brown slash black kind of squirrel nice little tail i haven't really seen them that dark before i've seen a lot of squirrels but they're usually like on the gray side a little bit lighter but this one was black a little different um we're gonna go back to the car now i think we got about a 40 minutes an hour drive to our second stop of the day which is gonna be uh ho falls i think is how it's pronounced um after we make it there we're gonna walk around explore the rainforest temperate rainforest i think is what it's called which is kind of like one of a kind in the area from what i've read see what it consists of um and then we'll probably head out to the beaches walk around the beaches the weather's a little better today shouldn't be as cold Ali shouldn't be complaining as much so it should be should be a nice experience so we stopped at this uh little spot on the way on the road right out of uh the Soul Duck Waterfall and I guess it's like a popular salmon jumping, salmon hopping spot. So it's an area where when uh, salmon move towards the ocean or away from the ocean, uh, they go up this river. And if you look at the area, um, they jump up this waterfall and it's like an 11 foot waterfall in size. And just to think, just to imagine them being able to transcend a waterfall upwards is absolutely insane and the fish are pretty big they're not small fish and I was like uh, something that I talked about on the sign is that they go through this river when it's low tide so to think about all the rock that's there that's currently there now um, is insane to be able to transcend that and to a side note I really want to be able to try some salmon today uh, I think uh, I really like salmon salmon is a fish that I really like to eat uh, and I want to see what it tastes like here in this area where it's fresh because uh, Washington, I guess, is one of the paths that it takes on its uh, life's breeding journey or whatever it is. So after about a uh, close to two hour drive, hour and a half, a little bit more, we finally made it to our last kind of wilderness trail of the trip, which is going to be the whole uh, forest trail. 
um, and then I think we'll do in the uh, the Giants Trail as well. So uh, we're gonna walk around. There's a significant amount of people here, though, compared to the other trails. It seems to be kind of uh, trend here overall. Um, but it is kind of on the cooler side. It seems like on the western side of the peninsula, no matter where you go, it is significantly colder. Um, but yeah, let's see what this trail has to offer. There are quite a few trails in the area. The one that we're doing now is the Hall of Mosses Trail. Quite short, I think it's a 0.8 mile round trip. You can get to look at all the, hence the name, moss <laughs> in the area. There's also a, one that's a little bit longer. It's a Spruce Nature Trail, 1.2 miles. And then there's one that's really long that goes to like the base of Mount Olympus and it's almost like 20 miles. So uh, the trails themselves are pretty interesting. There is, like I said, a decent amount of people, but the trees are absolutely huge. And the concept of this kind of rainforest with all this moss around, we've seen already throughout the Olympic National Park itself, but it's extra exaggerated in this area. What's crazy to me is just how many dead trees there are here. They fall, they die, they're everywhere around you, but nature works its course. It becomes a home for a different plant. A different tree even you'll see one kind of large log on the ground and then there will be four maybe five even trees that are growing from it and then not even trees you'll have lots of moss which is I guess the general theme of this area as well as different ferns and different other kind of plants growing out of it the size of these trees really do amaze me I mean you see the logs in the ground and they're easily 150 maybe 200 feet long but uh, if you look up and you look at some of the standing ones, some of the larger ones go all the way up to 300 feet. And to imagine the size of a tree, 300 feet. And they're not really necessarily all of them are so wide, but they're really, really tall. You look up and it's just a towering giant. Yeah, this forest is, is really, really cool, really interesting. Something that you don't really see normal. It's something that's very specific and special to this area. Generally very, very unique. Not something I could say I've seen before. So we just finished the trail. It was pretty easy overall, 0.8 miles, uh, super short, super quick, but it's definitely something very unique, definitely something you don't see on your um, kind of average day. So if you're in the area, definitely recommend stopping by. Uh, take It's gonna take maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes out of your total day. It, the drive is a little bit out of the way, but you know, if you do have the time, uh, make the rainforest, the whole rainforest, one of your stops. So we're gonna go get some stuff to eat now, some food, uh, maybe even pizza. <laughs> Again, we'll see, it was really good yesterday. And uh, we're gonna go check out the beaches. So probably gonna do second beach, since we didn't get to see it yesterday. Uh, and maybe we'll actually go to the same beach that we went to yesterday since we didn't get to experience it. We are dressed warmer, so if it is gonna be cold like it was yesterday, we are prepared for that. So, uh, we are back at Rialto, Rialto Beach. Uh, unfortunately, second beach was the beach that I really wanted to visit today. Uh, is closed. Uh, the trail, which is about, uh, I think it's a 0.7 mile hike, is uh, in the areas of one of the Indian reservations here, and they still have it closed due to COVID, which is uh, kind of frustrating, but you know, I understand it is what it is. So we've come back here. The weather is actually worse than it was yesterday, which I definitely didn't expect. Um, it is probably the same weather. It's like in the low 50s compared to towards inland, it was uh, more like 80. So we're gonna walk around. The visibility is a little bit better today than it was yesterday. So we're gonna see what we could see today. Uh, we can actually see some of the rock formations in the water, which is what I was showing Ali now. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can hike a little bit north and uh, run into hopefully some wildlife or some other things that people were talking about. here uh, after yesterday has made the decision to put on uh, I think what five sweaters four sweaters every single sweater that I brought here <laughs> she literally I have has like four layers a on pink not even, one, not a even black joking. one the jacket I'm I mean, prepared and it's still a little cold yeah it is pretty chilly but it's nothing uh, too bad we are definitely more prepared I had shorts on yesterday today put on my pants still have my hiking shoes on 
And uh, let's see. Let's see what we could get before uh, Ali quits and starts complaining and we gotta go backwards. You guys ready for the most daring river crossing ever seen? I have to cross this. <laughs> wow! I don't think you're ready to get a head start on this one. So I actually really, really like this beach. Uh, just it's so different, so otherworldly is kind of how I would describe it, you know. When you think of beach, you think of tropical sand, palm trees, you know, especially that's what I'm used to being from the East Coast. But this beach is so different between the black sand and the pebbles and the rocks on it. It just stands out and then you have the different cliffs in the ocean. They drew all the huge driftwood that's on the shore and then just the kind of uh, forest. And then the weather adds to it as well with a huge like covered fog the kind of drizzling rain a little bit it kind of adds that atmosphere gives it that mysterious and like i said earlier otherworldly vibe and i really like it it's actually been one of my favorite parts probably of coming to washington state um and just of how diverse the whole area is like we were inland maybe 30 minutes ago and it was blue skies and it was the same concept yesterday so i'm kind of realizing that it's just how the area is when you come here, the beach probably most of the time is covered by fog or covered by this kind of mysterious feel, mysterious look. But I've seen pictures of where it has looked nice and it's looked clear. And yeah, that's kind of what I was going for with the, uh, you know, I wanted to see a sunset here. But this is not, not that bad. I'm really actually enjoying it and it's something that I truly didn't really expect. So we just made it uh, to this uh, arch that's right behind me. It's about a 1.4 mile hike this way. Um, it's really nice in these rocks too. The, uh, there's a lot of different tide pools. There's so many different little animals, snails, uh, all these uh, coral, they have even little fish, crabs. It's really cool to spend some time looking around. And just the area when you get closer to here is really nice. You have these huge rocks in the water these huge kind of mountains coming out of the sea with trees on them. It's really, I can't like say this enough, but it's so otherworldly. It looks really, really different and interesting. I know a lot of the Pacific coast is like this, but still I've been to California, I've been to Northern California, but I haven't really seen anything like, like this beach. I'm kind of sad we weren't able to go to second beach. It's kind of the beach that I was looking forward to go. It's what most people talked about. So if you're in the area, and uh, it's open when you're here just make sure you stop by there it's about a 0.7 mile hike uh, but this one is just as good and the parking is literally right on the beach so you don't have to walk anywhere you just hike on the actual beach itself really good experience probably been one of my favorite parts of uh, olympic national park um, i think mount rainier the, the the hikes there were a little bit better and a, and a little bit nicer but this is truly unique and truly something completely different and if you have time Check out all the different beaches that are on this side. There's first beach, second beach, third beach. I know the names are actually pretty funny. They're not very unique, but uh, you have, I think it's Ruby Beach down south, a little bit lower. Uh, really cool, really unique kind of place that you won't see anywhere else. Things you gotta do for the gram, huh, baby? <laughs> She's got a unique, uh, unique approach this trip to her pictures. He's placing her phone upside down by the water. It's pretty funny, but there is a really nice reflection right now. And that's it for Rialto Beach. Uh, nightfall is almost upon us. It's getting quite dark. This is the part where I was hoping to watch the sunset a couple hours ago, but uh, it didn't happen again today. But still loved it. Uh, still really a beautiful, different, like exquisite beach super super you know different is really the word i could use um and that also concludes our trip to olympic national park as well as the greater uh, washington state area 
Uh, it's truly been a great experience. I loved all the different parts of it. Uh, we spent a total of seven days here uh, visiting Mount Rainier, uh, Mount St. Helens, the North Cascade uh, National Park, Cascade Mountains, um, and then closing it up with Olympic State Park, which we're finishing up today. It's been really, really fun. I love the mountains. I love the people. I love the area overall. Um, we've done some really, really great hikes, done some exploration, uh, all while trying to maintain social distancing, which is, you know, very necessary in the time that we live now. But uh, it was truly an incredible adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't seen our other videos to the places that I've named, they're all up on the channel. Make sure you check them out. It was a pleasure uh, exploring them and also recording them for you guys. Uh, and that's really it. Uh, thank you so much for tuning along in the video. If you made it this, this far, uh, hit the like and then subscribe for more content in the future. And we'll catch you guys later. Take it easy.